Hi, this is Keith Whistler with Horizon Hobby, and today I'm going to show you how to put an upgrade bearing kit into your ECX 18th scale four-wheel drive vehicles. Okay, for starters, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to your local hobby shop and pick up the spindle hub bearing set, part number ECX 217001. Once you have that, you can go ahead and get started. What you'll want to do first is start with the front end. And I suggest either using a Phillips head screwdriver that you already have and your 1.5L wrench that comes with your kit or picking up one of these dynamite kits, uh, DYN 2834. It's a startup tool kit. Inside you'll find anything that you could need. So I've already removed the front wheels and rear wheel so that I can show you guys easily how to do this. So I'm going to start by taking off the front spindle by undoing this camber link here. Once I've got that out, I'm gonna pull the camber link out. I'm gonna put my hardware in a safe place and I'm going to move on to the 1.5 millimeter hex, which we will use to take off the steering link right here. Okay, once we have those disconnected, we can then pull the spindle back and disconnect the, the drive shaft. We're then going to pull out the 12 millimeter hex followed by the pin. You're gonna to wanna to be very careful with this pin. It's small and easy to lose. At that point, we're gonna remove the drive shaft and we're gonna be at a point where we can take out the plastic bushings that come stock on the vehicle. So for that, I'm taking a screwdriver or anything that you can use to push that out and I push out the external bearing and then I push out the internal bearing. You'll notice that these two bearing or these two bushings are a different size just like on our bearings. So we've got a big one and a small one. At this point we'll take the small bearing and we'll push it into the external hole. Then we're going to take one of our big bearings, we're going to push that in there. And it's probably a good idea to take a screwdriver or something that you can push in there and make sure that bushing or that bearing is fully seated. So at this point we've got our bearings in the front. Take the axle that we just took out, we're going to insert it back in through the bearings and make sure that everything spins freely, which it does. We're going to go ahead and reconnect the drive shafts and make sure that that's nice and free. And we're almost done with the front end. We're now going to go ahead and reattach everything that we took out. So we'll start with the, with the steering linkage and be sure to make sure that you get it into the hole correctly and take your time here you don't want to rush and you don't want to strip the plastic so go until it starts to bottom out and that should be good you want to make sure that you can spin or you can actually swivel this camber link through its full suspension travel and in this case i've got it on there correctly now we're going to reattach the upper camber link and for that we're going to go back to our phillips head So go ahead and put that screw through the camber link, as you can see, and go ahead and line up the hole. Okay, we're going to screw that back down. And you're going to want to get it until it's just starting to snug up because you want your camber link to be able to rotate freely in there throughout your whole entire suspension travel. And lastly, on the front end, we're going to go ahead and take that pin and we're going to put that back into the axle here. And make sure you center it. And then we're going to take the 12 millimeter hex and we're going to go ahead and put that right back on. And at this point, we're ready to reattach our front wheel.
and you'll want to use the wrench that came with your kit or if you happen to pick up the dynamite kit there's also a driver in there for that'll handle this job as well so now the front end is done we'll go ahead and move to the rear next okay now that we've got the front end on we're going to move to the rear and we're going to take out the rear camber link so to do that we're going to go ahead and loosen this screw and then we're going to pull it out and we're going to get our camber link out of the way at this point we can go ahead and move the hub down and disconnect the drive shaft. Now we'll take, take off the 12 millimeter hex and just like we did on the front, we're gonna remove this pin. At this point, we can take out the rear axle. And again, just like we did in the front, we're gonna remove the plastic bushings on both sides. So we'll start with the external bearing, the smaller of the two, followed by the larger bushing. And then we'll go ahead and we will take the small external bearing and we're going to put that into the external hole out here, push it in, make sure it's seated correctly then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the larger of the two bearings. We're going to push that in just like we did on the front. We're going to push this through and make sure that the bearing completely seats. Okay, and at this point, we're ready to drop the axle back in. We want to make sure that everything rotates smoothly like we did on the front. And in this case, it does. So just like we did on the front, we're going to go ahead and line up these drive shafts. You want to get the splines lined up. And we've got it. So now we see everything rotates smoothly. We're ready to reattach the top camber link here. So we'll go ahead and line up those holes. We'll go back and get our screw. And we're just simply going to line this up, push it through. And again, we're going to snug this down. And we're good right about there. And just make sure that you've got a little bit of movement on your, on your camber link here so that your suspension can move freely up and down through its full suspension travel. If you happen to over tighten this, you will not be able to remove the suspension smoothly. So make sure that this link here is not crushed in between these two ears. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our pin back in. And lastly, we're going to take our hex, we're going to pop that on. And the last step will be to reattach the rear wheel. We'll put the bolt back on. And then we finish off by tightening this down with the four-way wrench that came with your kit. Once everything is all done, we just want to make sure that everything moves freely. That would be your suspension and both front and rear wheels. We look to be in pretty good shape here. So you'll want to do the same exact thing on the other side. And really, that's all you need to do to increase the efficiency of your vehicle. Okay, in closing, I want to just remind you that the part you're looking for at your hobby shop is ECX217001. If you'd like to make your life a little bit easier and purchase one of these tool kits, you can do that at your local hobby shop as well. The part number on that is DYN2834. So hope you've enjoyed the video and please look forward for more videos in the near future.